Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have a little trick for you. Some of you were asking how to make a transparent header in the new theme builder with Divi. It's going to be easy. I'm going to show you how to do that and you can achieve that transparent header look where you have it over your hero section on your home page or any of the other pages. All right, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's follow along. Okay, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, you might want to head over to our blog where you can follow along and have some visual guides um, that go along. And um, we don't really have any code snippets on this one, but we're going to do it all in Divi. But um, the article is linked down below this video. So we're going to kind of use this as a guide and template. But over in our example site, uh, you could either use the theme builder or you could just build it on a page. But I'm going to be having um, a section that's at the top of the page here. And it's going to be built in the theme builder in this example. And like I said, you could put it on the page, but let's just put it, do it in the theme builder here for the example. So I'm going to go into, you know, Divi theme builder and apply a custom header. And I've actually set this to a specific page right here. I'll show you. So it's on the page called header, which is right here, page called header. All right. So we've assigned that. Let's go in here and edit that. Right now it's black. As you can see, I have a logo which is just an image module and I have a menu module and a button and I'm, I'm just showing you this and and then on the page I have this this background section um, an image in a background um, of the section and what I want to do is bring bring the logo and the menu and the button down over top of this to create that transparent look uh, we used to be able to do that in in the default header in Divi before 4.0 or before we assigned a header in the theme builder um, we could do that very easily by adjusting the slider down to transparent but for now um, we have to have a new method and it, it's really great and easy so we, we want to get this transparent for one thing um, and and move it down so how do we do that go into the theme builder and as you can see I already said we have a section here so one thing we would want to do is go in and make the background of this section transparent so you want to click on this one here transparent oh and of course the text is white it's still there um, another thing you're going to want to do is make sure the menu is transparent so the menu module actually comes with a background by default um, so go ahead and make that transparent as well so it's really just those two things and and we're going to come back i want to save this i just want to show you something um, and show you that that's not you would think that that was all we had to do, okay? And it's not, and I'm just kind of kind of make that as a point. Okay, so we've come out here and save changes. So let's go and refresh this page here and see what happens. So kind of keep an idea here of where where the image is, the background image, and all that. Oh, look what happens. So um, the thing that we thought would work by just changing the header to transparent, like in the old system, does not work. It's here. <laughs> Um, you just can't see it because everything's white. I had it white member in the theme builder. So it's still not down over the image. So, you know, what, what's with that? All right. Well, there's one more step and it's going to be very easy. All right. So let's go back in here to our theme builder template and edit this header section again. There's one more setting that we're going to have to change and we can do that in Divi. Um, we used to have to do this with CSS, but with Divi 4.2, now we can do it. Um, in Divi. So I'm in the section here and I'm on the advanced tab and there's this new toggle called position. Open that and you'll see by default it might it's probably going to be on position relative. Change that to absolute. Okay so under position, position, absolute, save that. We'll just save this template and go check it out. All right when we refresh this time let's take a look what happens. Great, we've solved it. We've done it. As you can see, the logo and the menu and this button are showing up over top. It's like it's like they're existing at the same space, right? That is how you do it. Now, I'm going to show you one more trick because this is kind of hard to see, right? So let's edit this page. Let's enable the visual builder here. And it's, this is a really simple thing, um, but we want to add an overlay to that image so that it stands out a little more. So let's go into the section 
and let's see it actually it's actually acting a little funny it might be because of the um theme builder or just it's just maybe it's just me right so let's go in here to the section settings go to the background and here where the image is actually go down here to the very bottom background image blend change that to overlay and it kind of gets white and it's like what and then <laughs> let's go back here to the background to um, the background color and add one in fact let's just kind of grab black and ooh, okay but then let's change the transparency to something like that all right so that's kind of the look we were looking for um, it gave, gave it a little more contrast okay that's it for this tutorial now you're probably probably thinking this what about a fixed header like what about if I wanted this this header up here to be fixed when I scroll down here you want the menu to be there I'm going to make a separate tutorial and you'll understand why in that tutorial there's actually some complications that's going to be in our next tutorial keep an eye out for that one all right so I hope that was helpful to you I hope you can you know use that and find value in this and in all of our tutorials and if you do uh, please subscribe because we just have a lot a lot and a lot of videos coming and they're all like this type of video solving some kind of little problem a lot of them are requests that we're seeing or just trying to solve some kind of problem like that in Divi and providing a unique solution so if you're subscribed you'll be sure to get notified all right well we'll see you in the next video